Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. As you guys can see by the title of the video, we're going to have some tea being spilt on the channel today. We are going to be doing a battle of the brands between two eyeshadow palettes that are very similar but also very different. The first one is going to be Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker palette. And I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's kind of like an array of beautiful colors. So this palette, I think, took the internet by storm. I think Jeffree Star has taken the internet by storm, but that is my own personal opinion. The next palette that we are going to be battling is the James Charles by Morphe. Um, Times Morphe by Morphe, whatever. I really can't even get it in frame. It's an extremely colorful palette. The color stories are very similar, so that is why I decided these two can battle it out today. As you guys see, my base makeup is already done. We are just going to stick with the eyeshadow today. I didn't want to bore you guys with brows, contour, highlight, even though this highlight is... I do have five different categories that these guys are going to be competing under. First is going to be price point. Second is going to be blendability. Third is going to be fallout. And fourth is going to be pigment. I'm an idiot and don't know how to count. But before we get into that, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel or you guys are avid watchers, definitely press that button down there. You will enjoy some of the videos I have coming. Give the video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys like these styles of videos that are a little bit different from what I normally film. And without further ado, let's just get on to the battling. I'm sure you guys are dying to see which one of these wins. So first is going to be the price. We are going to start with the Jeffrey Jawbreaker palette. This palette retails for $58, which is a whopping amount of money. If you ask me, I personally feel like it's expensive, but we will put it to the test so you guys can see for yourself if it is. But the Jeffrey Star Jawbreaker palette is $58, which is a little steep for some. I know it's not a drugstore brand. It is more definitely classified as a higher end brand, but eyeshadow palettes, as you guys know, in the makeup community are becoming more and more expensive. Like Natasha Denona, they're $129. Pat McGrath is like $125. So the price is definitely getting higher and higher for eyeshadow. So this is middle of the road, I think. And it's not bad. You do get a lot for your money. So that's all I have to say about that. The Morphe Times James. This palette is big. The pan sizes are slightly smaller than, and by slightly, I kind of mean a lot, a lot smaller than the Jeffree palette, but you get a lot of colors in here. You've got the row of neutrals, which I actually really liked that he did that, the row of neutrals and a bunch of other colors. So you can kind of if you're more of a basic girl, like you can have your neutrals. If you want to play in some color, you have a lot of different colors. So this palette, I think retails for $30, $35. If not, I will leave it up here, which I think is reasonable. Morphe palettes are very reasonable. I think they're between 25 and 30 something dollars each, except the nine pan ones, which I think are 18. I think Morphe is very affordable. Their shadow qualities are very, very good. Um, this palette, we will see how it works, but I had no problems with it. I liked it. I don't think that there was any issues. I think that Morphe is collabing a little too much, though, if you want my opinion. I think they're collabing a little bit too much with a lot of influencers, coming out with a lot of the same things, and I'm getting a little bit bored. But this was the... Um, thing that shook the internet. Morphe didn't really come out with anything like this. So for $30, $35, definitely worth it. So for price, I'm going to have to go with the James Charles palette. It is a lot cheaper. It is a lot more affordable for you guys out there if you guys are looking for affordable. So James Charles, you win this one. We'll see you in the next round, people. Now we are going to jump into actually using the eyeshadow palette. We are going to create the same look with both palettes on each eye. So it's going to be the same look, just different eyeshadow palettes. So we are going to jump in with the Jeffree Star palette first. And I am going to take this neutral shade down here, which is called Cone. And I'm going to take that on a Sigma E40 brush. It's just a fluffy blending brush. 
And this side of my face is going to be the Jeffree palette. This side of my face is going to be the James palette. I'm just going to take this brush. I'm going to tap off the excess. As you guys see, there is some fallout, but it's inevitable nowadays. And I'm going to just start by pressing this on my outer corner and then buffing this through. I feel like I'm really not doing much. I'm just kind of brushing back and forth windshield wiper motions in my crease and blending upwards. Um, we are going to be doing a colorful look, but I wanted to put a base down so then we could kind of have something to buff into later on. So I'm pretty satisfied with this eye. We have a little bit of definition in the crease, so that is perfect. Now onto the James palette. We are going to take this middle row right here, and we're going to take this yellowy warm shade. It's pretty close to the one that we just used in the Jeffree palette. I am going to be using the exact same brush, just a different and clean one, and this is the Tapered Blending. So the one that we used in the Jeffree palette was just a little more orange. So I am just going to kind of see what we can build this up to. And then if I have to add just a little tinge of orange, we can. I am taking a little bit of the orange shade next to it just so we can kind of have a similar color. So I'm definitely satisfied with both sides. Now we are going to move on to a little bit more fun color. So we are going to do a blue look today. So I am going to take the shade Brain Freeze. That is this brighter blue. I'm going to take it on the same Sigma F40. So I'm going to dust off the excess, which there is a little bit of fallout. So I'm going to take the Brain Freeze color and I'm just going to press this on my outer corner. I don't really know how well this is going to blend with the orange shade and I didn't really think about that before but because this is like a very frosty frosty blue so just bear with me people so once you feel like you have everything blended I mean that looks pretty good I think for what we're going for now we're gonna jump into the James Charles palette and I'm gonna take this blue right here it is a little bit more vibrant and a little bit darker but we're like I said they are not the exact same palettes so we're gonna have to make it work a little bit and I'm still taking that on the Sigma F40 so I am just going to do the best I can to make these as similar as we can so this blue on this side has a little tinge of like a green in it it definitely does not look true to pan like the Jeffree Star one does. This one definitely looks a little bit more seafoam green, but I don't know if that's because the orange is mixing with it or what's going on, so I can't really say if that's affecting the pigment or not, so we're going to give that one a little pass on that. So despite how the two eyes look, I promise by the end, these will be very, very, very similar, if not the same eye looks okay I promise so now we're going to go into the shade soaked and that is by the Jeffree Star palette that is just a darker brighter blue and I'm gonna take this on a Smith 235 I know it looks a little dirty but I promise it's clean and then I'm going to tap off the excess and start patting it in the corner so we can build up the pigment out here and then start going in our crease. So then when there's nothing really left on the brush, I'm just going to kind of go windshield wiper motions right back and forth in the crease. And I mean, I wish this was a little bit brighter. So I am going to go in with a second layer and I'm just going to press the pigment on yet again and see if maybe building it up on a second layer is going to help. We are going to move on to the James palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. That's the closest to the soaked shade and we're going to be taking that on a blending E25 brush from Sigma and going into this. So we're going to do the same thing like we did with the other eye. We're going to pat it in the outer corner first to build up as much pigment as we possibly can. Moving back into the Jeffree palette, we are going to be using the shade Delicious, which is this 
deep navy blue in the bottom corner. So we coated the brush on both sides, tapping off the excess, and we are going to do the same thing. We're gonna press the pigment in to this outer corner. That's just a sure way to make sure that we are getting the most out of our eyeshadow. And I like to do that so there's a lot less fallout because if I take a brush with a, a lot of pigment on it and I just go start whirling my brush back and forth, I'm gonna have a ton of fallout and a ton of waste of product on my face. Do not mind my puppy, he's just a little crazy. The one thing I'm noticing about this shade is it's just not sticking as you guys can see on my eye. I'm pressing the shadow in to my eye and then as soon as I start to buff it out, it disappears right in this area. Unfortunately, I feel like that's all that I can do with that shade on that eye, so we're gonna move on to the James palette. So unfortunately, this is the darkest blue shade in the palette, so what I am gonna do is mix a little bit of black in, just a little bit, to see if we can kind of get a similar look to over here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I coated both sides, tapped off the excess, and I'm going to pack it on in the corner. As you see, we're getting a little bit more pigment on the James side, and it's really sticking. I'm not really having that issue of like patchiness right here. I don't really know what's going on. So we are getting a little bit harsh on this side, so I'm just gonna take the blues at the top that are a little bit lighter and start buffing this edge out. So unfortunately that this delicious shade is the darkest shade in the Jeffree palette. So we are going to go and move on to the lid shade. So I'm going to take the shade Bite Me, which is a deeper purple, which is a shimmer color. And I'm going to take it on a Sigma F75 concealer brush. I'm not spraying the product at all. I don't want there to be any factors but the actual eyeshadow. So unfortunately the shade had a ton of fallout. I am going to leave it there and see how the other one performs. The shade actually is not bad, like the shade is extremely pigmented and that is probably why there is a ton of fallout. I want you guys to kind of get a good look at the fallout. I am going to dust it away because I don't really want it to ruin my foundation. Moving on to the James palette, we're going to take this purple right here and I'm going to use that on a Sigma E58. So this one is definitely not going on as easy or as pigmented. I mean, there definitely is pigment there, but as you see the difference, I'm really trying to build this one up. I feel like it's a duochrome shade, so there is a little bit flex of blue in it, but that shouldn't affect how much product I pick up to how much product actually makes it on my eye. I'm really having to work a little bit harder on this eye when it comes to this purple shade. So overall, like, I mean, it's okay, but this side I didn't have to work as hard for. I don't know if you guys can see a big difference here, but there was a lot less fallout on this side than there is this side. But let's see if it does that staining that the other one did. And this one did not stain underneath my eye. So that's like a plus, but there was a lot more fallout to this purple. And I think it's because I had to like layer on layer on layer on layer because I just felt like it, it still isn't that amazing. It's definitely a sheer layer, but like I said, I could be here all night blending these shadows together. So next what we're going to do is blend out our under eye. I'm going to take the same delicious shade and the pencil E30 and we're going to blend out my under eye. So I am going to just run this right along my lash line. We're going to make it smoky. And then I'm going to blend it out with that lighter blue, which is soaked. Onto the James palette, I'm going to take the same E30, just a clean one. We're going to buff our lower lash line. So 
So the last part of the battle is going to be highlighting my inner corner, and I'm going to be taking the first shade, Virgin, which is a white shade on a Morphe E18. I have not done a matte inner corner highlight in a very long time. So that white is pretty bright. Then I'm going to take the white shade in the James palette and do the exact same thing, highlight my inner corner, and I'm going to use a Sigma E34. It's literally the same thing except um, a, the Sigma version instead of Morphe. Comparing both the whites, honestly, I feel like the James one is a little bit brighter. Dare I say it, but a little brighter. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes off camera and a lip, and we will come back with the final comparisons. And let me know what you guys think first in the comments who won this. And when we come back, we shall find out. And by the power of movie magic, I am back. I know that in the beginning I listed a couple of things that we were going to be comparing in the battle. I did compile a list before. I didn't look at it, and I forgot some of the things that I wanted to focus in on. So, blendability pigment, fallout, price, and packaging. We've done the price. Let's move on to the packaging. So first, the Jawbreaker packaging. Honestly, I really like the Jawbreaker packaging. It is very bright. It's very colorful. It is extremely in your face. I like that there is a mirror. I mean, some people don't need one. Some people, if you're traveling, it's good. So packaging for Jeffrey is good. This is the Morphe Times James. It is just black. It has James Charles signature. There is no mirror. Unfortunately, it's the same cardboard material. So I'm going to have to say for packaging, Jeffree Star wins on packaging. So right now it's one in one. James has one for the price. Jeffrey has one for the packaging. So moving on to the actual shadows themselves and how they work as you guys saw in this little like comparison tutorial. So blendability. I had some trouble on this side. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of patchiness over here. But other than that, all of the shadows did blend pretty well together on the Jeffree side. And on this side, as you guys see, these did blend really nicely together. I didn't really have any issues on this side. We are fully equal and pigmented all the way around over here. So for blendability, I'm going to have to say James gets another point. Next is the pigment. Just looking at both sides, the blues on this side are just much more rich in tone and much more true to palette. So as for the pigment, I am going to have to go with Jeffrey. So that's two to two. So we're, we're literally battling it out. Fallout. In the tutorial, as you guys saw, I did have fallout from both sides. But I did make a comment about how the James side had a lot more fallout than the Jeffrey side. For that reason, Jeffrey is going to get another point for having less fallout than James. Unfortunately for James, Jeffrey wins this, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm curious to know who you guys think wins this little challenge. If this is something you guys want to see more of, on my channel. Let me know. It is something I will definitely do again. I thought it was so fun to compare two very wildly different brands with very similar color schemed eyeshadow palettes. Don't forget to subscribe. That button is down there and give the video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys love what I'm doing. And don't forget to check out my last video. That'll be linked right here. Stay on the channel. Have a couple laughs learn a couple makeup techniques, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.